found inside of the cosmetic manufacturer's facility that Jaclyn Hill used to create her cosmetics. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Locks and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Rich Locks exclusive. Girl, buy another lie. Girl, they done found animal hair in Jaclyn Hill lipstick, girl. Can you believe Jaclyn Hill? Jaclyn Hill lipstick. They found animal hair in the lab. So for those of you who aren't caught up on the drama, you already know I have all my receipts and deleted tweets. Okay, seriously, all right. There has been a video that has been made that has exposed that there's animals running around the lab. Well, here you go. Let me roll you, my opinion, my conspiracy allegedly. Okay, let me roll you the clip and then we'll talk about it. Here we go. Cats have been found inside of the cosmetic manufacturer's facility that Jaclyn Hill used to create her cosmetics. Specifically, some people on Reddit right here identified Oxygen Labs or Oxygen Development inside of Florida as the potential or the alleged <laughs> manufacturer of Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Now, they are originally from Europe and it sounds like they opened a branch here in Florida. This should be no problem, except for what has been found at these facilities. So I did some digging on Facebook. There uh, is a Twitter account that I found some information on as well as some of my own research that I did from my mobile phone. And there were dogs found in this facility. A, an employee who was working at the facility posted when a dog got in and you can look at these people's attire and their workspace and confirm that this is the same facility. Uh, and on top of that, someone posted a picture with no details about a cat in a cage and they tagged Oxygen Labs as the location it was taken and this person happened to be an employee of Oxygen Development. And again, I'm using the terms development and lab and manufacturer very loosely here, the way Jacqueline did. Um, if you actually get into the business of beauty, those things are very, very different. Oh my God, so much drama. Can you believe the little critters running around the factory? Now, I have to say this. Let's talk, because I feel like we need to talk. Okay, I don't I don't think that Jacqueline Hill, when she went to go look at the factory, that she was like, oh, let me see, do you have... Well, you know, she, well, she probably wouldn't go. She's so lazy. Yes. Allegedly, Oxygen Labs. Uh, yeah, do you have animals, animals in the factory running around? You do. Do I get a discount? Okay, yeah, make the lipsticks. I don't think... Remember, go raise your phone. I don't think it went anything. I know of Denny's one. Linda. Hey. <laughs> I don't think any of that went down. Okay. But I, I think that she got gooped the house, girl. She didn't know that they had animals running around. I mean, every common sense person would not want to have their makeup in a factory that had animals running around. Well, it wasn't until later now it has been exposed that animals were running around. Now, they say allegedly these, these people, these people, they like to point fingers. Oop. They like to point fingers, but then be like, allegedly, allegedly. I mean, is it true or not? Was there animals in the factory or not? Is this it? I want to know the tea. I want to know the tea the house. The people want to know. So let me know what you think. Do you think this is a trusted source? I mean, it seems like every day there's someone popping up with a new microscope that can see that can see 10 times more clearer and someone has video footage of Jack Hill walking around the damn factory. Like, it is insane, all this drama. They start matching up pictures like, oh my God. A Reddit user was able to look up the lab and find photos of it and then compare them to the photos of Jacqueline visiting the lab that were on the website. There are some major similarities that have been circled and pretty much confirm that this is the lab Jacqueline used. I mean, it is alleged, but look at these photos. Now after some more digging, it turns out this lab is way beyond disgusting. Following a geotag on Instagram, somebody on Reddit posted these photos that an intern from the lab had posted exposing the fact that there was a hazmat team brought to the facility.
So you already know, number one place for Jaclyn Hill drama here on YouTube. Still, we don't know what's going on. Jaclyn Hill is still missing. She's still missing in action. Deleted her social media. Now her website is still up. Even though it says well, they'll be back soon. Jacqueline Cosmetics Instagram is still up, but her personal accounts are gone. I don't know. You know, there's going to be that one person in the comments. What? Jacqueline Hill's what? Jacqueline Hill's gone. We did it. Yeah, we got her. We ran her off the internet. I don't think it was. The, I don't, do people really think like that? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I hope not. Okay. But uh, first of all, I have a lot to talk to you about. Okay. Um... So, first of all, I want to say that this video is sponsored the house by Surfshark VPN. It is a virtual private network. Okay, seriously, everyone needs to have one of these. If you are, if you're paranoid like me, I always feel like I need to have a virtual private network. So basically what it is, the way I use it, is when I'm out in public, I'll switch it on, which means if I'm using a public Wi-Fi, no one can see what I'm looking at publicly when I'm out and about. And you can also use it to watch Netflix in different countries, because if you didn't know, Netflix shows you different movies and titles depending on what part of the world you are. So UK, London, Netflix is totally different from US Netflix. So just add a fat little added bonus so you can like switch what part of the world you are in. Definitely check out Surfshark. You can save 83% your next month free so check them out i'll put the link down below in the description and thank you surfshark for sponsoring this gay little video so i want to talk i have several things i want to talk to you about okay which one should i start well first let me show you this real quick okay seriously i went to louis vuitton and i'm gonna, I'm gonna do an unboxing like right now or should i wait for another video i don't know we'll see i might do it in this video we'll see okay so I just want to show you, I bought this at the mall. It was it's like Macy's, okay. Um, and this is what it looks like. Now it's a water bottle. I know you're like, girl, what? But I just want to, sh if you follow me on Instagram, then you know, like I get like a sneak, a sneak peek. Okay, this is, <laughs> I'm supposed to screw it on, but like, I, I, I suck, I, okay? okay? I just, I can't, like, I don't have like the strength. Anyways, here it is. So it's a regular water bottle. So you put your water in here and then down below, um, there's like this line it has crystals in here. So let me just open it up this way. So I want to show you. So basically here are the crystals. Yeah. And they go in here. They don't touch the water, but you just kind of like put it in here, I guess, unless you want to so like, I guess, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. But anyways, let me just read you. Cause it comes with two crystals. It comes with the clear crystal and it comes with the rose crystal. Now it says precious stones are known to possess physical properties, releasing unique frequencies be loved to help clear your mind and recharge your body and relieve stress. So that's pretty cool. So if you believe in the power of crystals uh, and like crystal energy, then I would like, I just, I think it's fun. I think it's cute. And this is the brand, I don't know, like I said, not sponsored, but it's called Custom Quartz H2O. And I think it's like $20 or something, but I picked it up. I'm just having a hard time screwing this on. So I need to get a man to come do it. I can't do it to save my life, okay? Much less, I can't get a like to save my life. I can't even get a damn subscriber to save my life. Oh my God, oh my God. Anyways, guys, oh, one thing I left out. Okay, so this right here, the Paris Hilton Beauty Sponges was sent to me by a subscriber. So if you sent these to me, you know who you are. Thank you, thank you for sending it to my PO box. I love you so much. Okay, so here is the Louis Vuitton box. Now like, I'm, I'm questioning like, I don't know guys, should I do it in this video? Should I do it in another video because you know, some of y'all really love when I do the unboxing of Louis Vuitton and some of y'all just hate it so much, I hate it. So like, I know I'm not gonna do like, well I say that, but like watch me do it, but like an individual video of of it. I don't, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but I don't know guys, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes, okay? Oh yeah, one other thing, thank the other subscriber who sent me this in the PO box, I love you so much. Okay guys, so we'll see about the Louis Vuitton unboxing. Maybe we'll do it in the next video or something, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters so when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, love you so much.